What's up guys, in today's video I'm going to teach you and I'm going to show you how to create a break even, well not bot, like we are going to implement inside a bot a break even. It is something very 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 simple and you are going to see this now. But first of all, let me tell you that you have the code that I'm going to do in my GitHub. So you can come here to my profile, you can come to trading bot. And then here in the MQL5 library, you can come to the file break even. And here you have that implemented. And in fact, is this like, <laughs> it's not much. Like we are going to have a short video. So let's just start with it. How do we implement a break even? Um, first of all, what is a break even? A break even is, for example, let's say that we want that whenever we reach a point of profit, like let's say that we open the position here and whenever we uh, half well, whenever the current price is here like 20 points above we want that the stop loss moves up until a point where we don't lose anything or we don't win anything like if the price goes down it we won't lose anything but we won't win anything so how do we do this for that we are going to use the MACD bot that I have also in my channel and in my GitHub. So you come here and it's here, MACD. So we are going to use that bot and we are going to implement that. For this, we have to think uh, like, where do we check if the operation is open? Because for that, we have to check if an operation is open. So where do we check this in the code? Here. So in order to do this, what we are going to do is a new condition saying that, hey, if the trade ticket is not zero, like if the trade ticket, like the operation is open. So what we are going to do now is some things. So let's say that we also want to check if we have a certain amount of, of profit. So let's say that we want that if we reach 50 cents, we want the the stop loss to change to that point that we talked about. So we are going to take the profit by creating a new variable called profit. And then we have to call the function uh, position get double. And here you see all these options. We need the position profit. Wait, so we put here position profit and we obtain the profit. So the next thing that we have to say is that, hey, if the profit is above, above 0 0.5, like 50 cents, we are going to modify the position to the opening price of the, of the, of the trade. So we have to say that, well, we have to use the trade object. Then we have to use the position modify. We have to send the trade ticket, which we have it. And now we have to send the new stop loss, which is the opening price of the trade. So we can call this open trade, but we haven't created this yet. So let's put this and we have to set here a uh, take profit, but we are not going to complex this a lot. So since here we don't have any take profit, we are going to put here also a zero for the take profit. So now what we have to do is that we need to declare this open trade variable to store the price in which we open a trade. How? We are going to create it here and we are just simply going to call it open trade. So we are going to call this like this. And now we have to initialize this variable whenever we open a trade. Where? So we are going to put this whenever we open that and it's here. So for example, we say that open trade is equal to bit. And here, in the case of uh, buy, we say that the open trade is equal to ask. And that's it. Now that we have this, what we can do is that we can say, hey, modify this position to this place. And also, we don't want to be doing this all the time because this condition can be met all the time. So what we can do is that we can add another condition to say, okay, the open trade value must be different than zero. So we are going to set this to zero whenever we do this once. So whenever we change the position, so whenever we put this to the zero point, let's call it like that to the break even, we are going to set the variable to zero. 
So we are not always modifying the position. So let's compile and check that there isn't any error. And now let's come here to the uh, uh, tester, strategy tester. And here I have the bot MACDTS, which is the, <laughs> the same one here. Like this code belongs to that bot. But yeah, whatever. I should have put another name. So now we are going to test this and let's click on start and let's check if this works correctly. So let's go to trading here to see the, the profit and let's move this a little bit faster. And you're going to see that now we have this position and we have to check if we reach the 50 cents benefit. So let's make this slower and you're going to see that whenever we reach those 50 cents, the stop loss changed and you can see that now the stop loss is here like it was somewhere uh, here but at some point the sub the point in which the position reached 50 cents this changed to zero so you can see how powerful this is like you can change this in lots of way you have here in my channel another video for a trailing stop and yeah that's it if you enjoyed the video and you understood how to create a break even in mql5 Give it a like, share, subscribe, and see you in the next one.